Hey guys, my name's Jessica Jane, also known as Jessica Jane 25 on YouTube, and I'm going to talk to you today about mine's mental health selfies. In my experience, using YouTube as a tool for those with mental health issues is brilliant. I feel it's a great way to support each other by drawing on our own experiences and using those to help other people. And in turn, it helps ourselves because we use our good and bad experiences in order to help other people go through similar situations. YouTube and social media are so huge at the moment and it's just a brilliant way to raise awareness for mental health issues, share stories and basically support each other. It's like a peer support group online. I didn't know what I was feeling was as common as it was until I started making YouTube videos. I started searching for other YouTubers and learned a lot of people actually do suffer with anxiety kind of like me and it made me feel so much better and more normal knowing that I wasn't alone. It's helped me so much over the past few years and I really believe that it can help other people too. I feel a sense of relief when I upload something online, whether it's good or bad because it gives me that sense of maybe this can help someone and that makes me feel better about the situation whether it was something that was bringing me down or whether it was something that was so amazing that I just had to get it out into the world. It makes horrible experiences a little bit worthwhile because it makes you feel like yeah okay that was horrible I don't want to go through that again but maybe what I went through can help someone else. Mind actually have their own YouTube channel where they allow people to upload mental health selfies, hence the title for this video. This is where real people tell their stories about their experience with mental health, book recommendations, talking about campaigns that they feel strongly about, or even just talking about a conversation that really made them think. I believe this is an absolutely wonderful thing to get involved in, as sometimes you can watch TV documentaries about mental health and it can feel a bit fake or scripted and it's not really relatable or even worse it can be portrayed in soaps where it's portrayed so much differently to what it actually it feels like to go through so seeing someone on their mobile phone a webcam or camera like me talking about their real life experiences is so much more relatable and I honestly wish that more people could get involved so that we could raise so much more awareness. Which leads me to my question. It's actually coming up to the first birthday of the mental health selfies. And what better way to celebrate it than to get as many people as possible to get involved and send in their own. Now just get your webcam, your phone or a camera if you have one. There's no wrong way to do it. Just point the camera at yourself and talk about anything. It doesn't have to be really long. It can only be a minute or two if you want and then you can send them over to selfie at mind.org.uk it would mean the world to lots of people including me so thanks for watching this video and I really look forward to watching your mental health selfies please do subscribe to mind and all the links will be in the description below and if you want to go and have a look at the other mental health selfies just in case you need some inspiration for your own thanks for watching bye